Hello everyone, glad to have you with me, CK2 much here, back at it again in the world of Essos and Westeros. With the newly crowned, although I haven't been coronated I guess, I don't know if I can actually, uh, newly crowned Emperor Orion of New Valeria. And before we get started guys, please do remember to like and subscribe, your support really helps me to keep going. And if you'd like to support me even further, please do check out my Patreon in the description below. Um, but, you know, I am only, uh, only 170-ish subscribers away from becoming monetized, so the best way you guys can help me out is to subscribe. But, all right, so, yeah, in the last two episodes, we had uh, Orion discovering he was one of the only dragon lords left in the world. He decided to go down to Valeria, see what was up, and then return to... Um, the Valerian colonies to tell everyone what happened and take power for himself. So we conquered Volantis, we conquered Mir, 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 we conquered, conquered Pentos, and now we will take Norvos and maybe Cahor, although we do have a uh, aggression pact, um, although it would only be for two years. Maybe I could get him to agree to be vassalized, I don't know. Um, I also need to take Lys, Lorath, and Tyrosh, but I don't want to uh, use my navy right now. Although I do have a lot of ships. Um, and I do have a little demence of my own here in Old Volantis, but it is completely like destroyed and gutted. So I'm a little dependent right now on my vassals. But I do have money, so I could get some, uh, you know, what do you call them? Mercenaries. It looks like I also have uh, the Roin as well. I don't know if I can make this kingdom yet. Oh, I could actually. Ah, but I have to be a Dornishman. That's interesting. Ah, I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay. Can I also make Andalos or do I have to be Andal? Yeah. But Andal, you have to be Andal like culture or like Andal like from Westeros, I wonder. Yeah, they're Andal. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, all right, well, we have my special event troops. Oh, yeah, so I guess I'm not actually dependent. And we also have the two other dragon riders from Essos with us, Generis and um, uh, Rogar. There are some other dragon riders, obviously, in Dragonstone, but in Essos, it's just us three. So let's go ahead and we will move on to Norvos. Hopefully he'll just surrender. But, you know, we'll see. I'll try to get Cahor in on this. And this is my wife. Uh, she's from a Valentine family, although not a very prominent one. She's about 15. And I have another wife here um, from the Sarnor, actually. Oh, actually, I told him that I was going to help him. So I'll go ahead and offer to help the Sarnori and defeat the Dothraki. But we'll... Ah, um, damn it. I remember I said in the last episode I was going to go through Isaria. Well, we'll take care of Norvos first. Um, you know, maybe I could also go after them. So we'll do both. Yeah. And um, let me go ahead. I will call you all up to here. And we'll just get rid of this one. So meet at the Death Swamps, everyone. Ooh, but you know what? Or no, meet um, here. Much bigger place for you to be. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the Death Swamps does not sound like a good place for everyone to meet up. Uh, okay, so one more time. Okay. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long. I mean, I think we'll be able to just walk right in. Uh, and one of them might even surrender, to be honest. Uh, nice. Okay, so Norvos has agreed to surrender. And so has Asaria. Wow. Shortest war ever. All right, so I will offer to join your war against the Dothraki. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will continue our march. Although, I don't know, I'm kind of worried about taking our men all the way through here. We could even take Bravos, to be honest, although they might put up a bit of a more of a fight, so I might wait to consolidate things um, around here. Uh, how about, what if you go, yeah, how about you go to Bajus? All right, and Orion is a kind of older man. He's not like Arain. So we really need to pump these kids out. 
So honestly, I might need to um, come back to the to court to make sure that I can get this done. Uh, do, do, do. All right, let's see. So loyal servants such as I deserve some recognition. So he wants the high lordship of the upper ruin. Well, you're already there, and you did have the balls to ask me. But are there any better candidates? Are you feudal? You are feudal. Honestly, we could do that. We could do that in exchange for a favor, let's say. Okay, so hopefully he will uh, stay in line here. All right, I am going to have to consolidate things. One thing I wish that they had in this game were um, vice royalties. I really wish that that was a thing. I also need to get rid of this. Um, I need to bring some more people on my side so I can abolish the council in general. Uh, I have three loyalists. I think I can get the Storm Singer on my side and maybe the Court Physician, and that might be enough to push through some of our reforms. Ooh, man, they are getting banked. Uh, let's see, you want to be a commander? I think that makes sense. Relis is, I don't think he should be commanding anything. <laughs> He's really old. Uh, uh, okay, he took that. He was salty that I got rid of him as commander. Uh, okay, so maybe the guy from Dagger Lake. Where is my man from Dagger Lake? Oh, no, he is not too happy with me. How about Ezo? No. No. Yes, okay. Zargano. That might be enough. Push us over the edge here. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. He's arguing with his wife. Should I intervene? I don't know if it's really my place, but, um, you know, he is being a pain in the ass. Maybe I'll intervene. Ooh, he was not happy about that, actually. So he does not really want my help. Interesting. Okay, so we got him on our side. Isnardo. Yeah, this was one of the families that took to our side when we declared ourselves emperor. So we are kind of grateful to him. All right, so I think... I think we'll go with um, titles and offices. So we have we have five, and they have mm, and they have five. So we actually need one more person on our side. Uh, as for bodyguards, I will go ahead and get Vagon, I guess. Um, I could try to get a new court physician. Although I'm pretty sure I enslaved Brachillo, so he might not be too happy about that. Uh, what about you? Would you take it? Yes. Oh, okay. There we go. So that should be enough. Okay. Well, I should speed this up. I have a feeling that they are not going to... We're not going to get there in time, but we will try our best, I guess. Um... So he actually declared this war himself. It's an anti-nomad war, whatever that means. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and we will do yeah, titles, offices, and such. Although, honestly, doing justice would be good. You know, I'm going to start with that. If someone breaks the rules, I should be able to take care of them however I want. Oh, what? Hold up. Okay. So that should shake out in our favor. Oh, wait a minute. There are 11 people? Am I one of them? Oh, good. Okay, well, it was approved, so I guess that's good. These guys look kind of like um, Halden Reed. But okay, I mean, they are uh, a noble oligarchy, which whatever that means. I guess that's something between like a republic and uh, um, feudalism. You want me to fully recognize Vargarno? I can do that. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to... You know what? I'm just going to bring these men down, save some money. Maybe that was a good exercise to see if they would do it, and then we got them all put together, yeah? Demonstration of power. Uh, okay, so let's march on to them. It looks like they might... Ooh, yeah, never mind. I was about to say they might narrowly pull out a victory, but they did not. Ooh, and we have some factions bubbling up here. They want Donio. 
to be the ruler. Very interesting. Uh, I could execute him, but I will be seen as a tyrant. So maybe I'll try to have that done quietly. Ugh, but I can't. No one will support me. I could just go for it. I could just go for it. But it'd be 10 tyranny. Absolutely crazy. Hopefully he'll just die. I mean, he's in the oblite, so... I don't see why not. And then maybe once he dies, I can also take her as a wife. Okay. Uh, you're up there in Mother's Valley. I think I will go ahead and give you some of these annoying people. Yeah, you can take Aranos. And what about Father's Hill? No, the axe. What should the axe be part of? Ah, it should be part of Lorath, actually. You know what? I will uh, go ahead and put f the axe. Oh, I can't put the axe under him. Are any of these other guys doing it? Mother's Valley, Asaria, and Norvos. And the guy from Dagger Lake actually started it all. So you should be part of the Roinar. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we can leave them be for now. I mean, we have dragons, so at the end of the day, any, like, you know, uprising would benefit us, because then we can just get rid of whoever we want. Uh, okay. All right, look at that. So I've been studying the art of war, former conquest. That's good. Is my spy master still sweet on me? Yeah, I'll make give him a little bit of money, make him sweeter. Oof, I am already 50 years old. I need to get a baby in me, or I need to get a baby in someone fast, not a baby in me. Uh, I could get a Summer Islander as well. I kind of wish there were more people like from my realm that I could marry. There don't seem to be many options. Are there any like Narvoshi girls or or something that aren't really old? Uh, maybe this Merman. Yeah, here we go. Let's get... Uh, She's a bit weird looking, and she's a bastard, but... Ooh. So it looks like the Lord of Pentos's wife has decided to try to escape. Um, I will put her in the dungeon, then. Yeah. And he probably won't be too happy. All right, I will go ahead and legitimize her. And her noseless face. Is she disfigured? Or is that just how merwomen look? Why does she not have a nose? Is it just like blurred? Yeah, maybe it's just like a... It's either a thing mermen do, or it's just the mod is effed up. <laughs> uh, okay, and yeah, I will ask for the dowry. 10 gold for the emperor? Really? I will not condone this action. Ah, oh, but it's tyranny. My guy's authoritative and wroth, but that's a huge, huge red flag. So they are firing him from the council. He's the imperial general. He has a dragon. So I really don't think this is a good idea. But 10... I don't really know how this tyranny system works. I really need to figure that out. Uh, but I hope there's no hard feelings. I'll make you master of the royal ele elephants, maybe. She's developing an arbitrary streak. I'll try to get her some more ambition, now that she is an empress. Uh, okay, we're... Man, we are most sl slowly, slowly moving through here. All right, we're almost there. Ah, and now they're trying to get rid of Rogar as well. What is this position? Also, ah, he was advisor. Okay. So they're trying to get rid of my loyalists. Um, well, let's go ahead. I'll put on some different loyalists. <laughs> Those families that supported me in Volantis when I attacked for the first time. Uh, Perennis Haramon. This is, oh no, Painimion. That's, oh, that's not him. I don't know who that is. Him? Huh. So what, you are attacking Lord Ezo. So yeah, I'll vote in favor of that. 
He's on my council. He should be protected. Yeah, it's just a revolt, so. Oof, all right. Well, I guess I'll have him arrested for treason. And Mr. Uh, Horio Loris, I will send you to crush the revolt, all right? You take care of that for me. That's a nice little buff feature. I don't have to deal with that or do a civil war for some small matter. Oh, all right. Well, what's the damage? 300 gold. Could be worse. Okay, well, we were so close. We were too far away. That was the, that was the problem. Ah. Okay, so these slaves that I mated have produced a baby. Eldrick. A veilman. Cool. So let's go ahead and we'll get him trained up. Maybe one day he can be a valuable um, soldier for us. I won't train him myself because obviously that's beneath me. Let's do Vagon. He could become a decent warrior and maybe learn some stewarding. Uh, all right, we need near Sar. I'll go ahead and give it to the guy from North Fields. You know, the rich get richer, and by that I mean the loyal, the, the loyalists get more loyal. Okay, and I still got some prisoners. I really, 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 really need to get rid of this guy, and I still can't. I don't know if. Has anything changed with my plot? No. Okay. All right, nice. So that trader has been taken care of. Oh, finally. Look at that. My wife is pregnant, and it's my first wife. Uh, I, I'll tell her to take leave so she can retire and have a healthy baby. We really, really need an heir. What's this? Ah, uh, you are being attacked by him. Uh, okay. Okay. All right, he will obey. That's good. All right, probably in this campaign there's going to be a lot of bullshit like that, honestly. What's Murr up to? Oh, Mirish slave raid on Dorne. Okay. Okay. A lot of distances to travel here, so let's go ahead. I'm going to get my guys over to Volantis and see if we can't get on a boat, and I'm just going to try to take out Tyrosh, Lys, and uh, Lorath all at the same time. Hopefully some of them will just, you know, surrender. But after that, we're going to have to try and take them on. Uh, I really want to change them over to Feudal, but that's going to take a lot of... Oh, that's going to cause a lot of problems. Okay, some drama in the reeds that I don't really need to concern myself with. Let her rot. Honestly, I would love to just take her as like a concubine or something. Can I just enslave her? Yeah, that would give me five tyranny. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe I, you know, maybe I should just execute him. I mean, if they rebel... It's just going to be good for me, and I am authoritative and wrath. So you know what? Yeah, let's just do it. I'm going to go ahead and execute him. I'm going to feed him to my dragon. I mean, would he do this? He's not exactly cruel, but he is authoritative and wrath. So, and he, this guy is causing a lot of issues. They're trying to get him to uh, be the emperor. That's pretty. That's some BS right there. So let's send a warning to them. And then maybe we could take his wife? No? Why not? Why can't we? Ah, okay, so I could do that. Okay, so if I enslave her, I can force marry her or, or no? Hmm. Okay, not quite. Well, she was the Empress of Valyria, and now she is <laughs> uh, no one. Um, so if I grant her freedom, 
She will stay here. Ah, she's widowed. That's why it's not working. Okay. Um, well, let's keep her around. And then for you, I think I might just enslave you as well. And then will I be able to forcibly marry her? Yeah. No, once again, I cannot. Well, if I grant her her freedom, can I marry her? Or do I already have too many wives? Ah, looks like I do. Damn it. Okay, well, let's say that he was trying to get with those girls, but it didn't really work out. Uh, okay, well, maybe, you know what? Oh, I need a new spy master. Um, oof. Let's give it to Donald. Oh, that's the slave that I bred. Um, you know what? I will go ahead and free him. And I will also get him married to this lovely lady. And I will even raise him to nobility. Donald Spur. And hopefully he will do a good job as spy master for me. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, because people are really, really not happy with what I did with those ladies. Uh, we also have Kanosh. I don't know who that is. Some random merman. Can I ransom him? Yes. Well, I guess I'll just ransom him. He's not worth keeping. And then Noriana as well. Uh, I will ransom. And then you. What to do with you? I can execute him, and it would only cost me fear, because he did disobey me. All right, so Perennis, you will be fed to the dragon. All right, so Orion is becoming a bit of a tyrant, huh? Okay. So now that we're here, we'll go ahead and conquer these guys. All right, so Dragon Conquest quest of Lys. Probably we're going to have some defections, I would imagine. And Tyrosh and Lorath. All right, so let's go ahead. I'll call in my uh, allies, my boats, and my levies. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Let me bring those back down, and I'll just have you meet up at Old Volantis once again. Uh, okay, so the boats, I guess, go ahead and meet up here. Yeah, you as well. Okay, so Tyrosh has surrendered. That's good. Lys has also surrendered. That's wonderful. And look at that. Lorath as well. Okay, so that was totally unnecessary. So now we can go ahead and break our non-aggression pack with Cahor. I'll go ahead and lower my men. Uh, you have higher status, and yeah, you are a pretty good dueler. You know what, yeah, I'll go ahead and get him married. Maybe to Dorea. Uh, you know what, I should probably... She's five, she's six years old? Okay, honestly, I don't need that betrothal. That's too much to wait for. It was a good alliance. They were like a major power, but honestly, I I don't need them. I'll go ahead and marry this girl, this uh, Reis. Yeah, she was the wife of the former ruler. So I think we can take her as well. So how many wives can I have? I can have three total? Three wives. Okay, and no concubines. Okay. Well... I guess we can do, but he, he, okay, fine, fine, we can do that. All right, disputed lands can be made, Lorath Bay can be made as well. Uh, okay, so I'll distribute these later uh, to make people happy. All right, so I guess in that case, we can go ahead and uh, also get, well, 
You know what? I'm going to leave the ships because I don't want to have to sail all the way up there. But all right. So I think in the next episode, guys, we'll go ahead and um, take care of Bravos, which might be an issue. And then once we can, I'll take Cahor. And then, I mean, by then we'll basically have everything we need. Oh, except for this part of Valeria. And after that, we might need to start taking a look at some internal things. But you know what? Let's do the final month. I want to see what my baby turns out to be. Oh, look at that. Danar. What was my first son's name? Harris? Damon? Damar? I would rather have a different one, maybe. Amon? Baron? Phallic? Svekar? Amon? Uh, what was his name? Harris. I'm going to name him after my son that died. Harris Verezus. All right, look at that. Oh, look at that. He's quick. So let's go ahead and get him brought up with struggle. Okay, cool. And I guess I will teach him myself. And are there any uh, good matches for potential marriages that we can go ahead and just get out of the way? Maybe some, maybe some. Nothing jumps out at me, though. Uh, we'll have to take a look later on. But okay, guys, so yeah, this is turning out to be a little more low-key than I expected, but I've always wanted to play as New Valeria. So even if this turns out to be a short series, I will be happy. Um, but I think once we start taking on the internal uh, enemies things will get a little iffy. We'll probably have to deal with a lot of civil wars, kind of similar to what Aegon was going through. Perhaps I will play as him as well. We'll see. Um, I don't have an exact goal for this series, but I would like to, you know, reestablish ourselves as the dominant force. Do we have a dragon pit? We do not. Ooh. How much money do I make each month? We have dragons, and we have two dragon riders, so we don't really need to worry about mercenaries. So I'll go ahead and build that dragon pit, so that hopefully my son will have a dragon to ride in the future. But all right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.